wild journey it has been to get these toys. I mean, I went to about seven, maybe eight, I wanna say maybe 10 different McDonald's all over the area to complete two sets of cars of these McDonald's toys. One set to keep sealed for document purposing, right? We got the classic McQueen, Ooga Booga McQueen, Ivy, Mater, and the list goes on. And as you saw in the hunt video looking for these cars, I went through so many ups and downs. It was a bumpy road, but we got them all. And that's what's important because we can finally put a rest to all this McDonald's stuff, do the review, because I know people have been asking for it and I've been wanting to do it ever since the toys came out because I thought I was going to get all of them in the first day that they released. But no, it takes a while. Point being, patience is key. It'll be worth it in the end. So without further ado, let's talk about everything that's going on with this whole McDonald's and cars. Happy meal, shall we? So to save time, and also because I was impatient, we have them all already put on with their stickers. We just need to basically unwrap them. Well, I technically already opened them, but anyways, just pretend they're sealed. I was just way too excited. <laughs> so we're gonna be reviewing all of these, but before we do, Let's talk about the box. Now, the boxes are cool, but inconsistent. And in the matter of, let me explain. So, I don't know if anyone's going to catch this, but I certainly did. This box, where McQueen is, is a lot more vibrant to this one. I don't know if it's just me, but this box color overall is more different than this one. This one looks like a creamish color in the background where the map is, and this one looks like a faded sort of white. And look at the background detailing of the map. All the line work of red and blue is faded on this box, whereas over here it's nice and bright. And over here, McQueen's very red and bright, uh, vibrant, but over here he's very dull looking. Same thing for Mater, he's very dull looking. I think this is the way the box is supposed to look. This one's just very dull in color overall. You can't really tell that well on the side of the box right here, but basically it has a little app or experience to play on your mobile devices. Here you got the Happy Meal logo on the other side. And on the other end of the box, you have other characters to collect and the little scanning code to see how to actually play with this. So you got, of course, Ivy, Roadtrip McQueen, Roadtrip Mater, Cruise Ramirez, Cave Mater, Rumbler McQueen, Cave Lightning McQueen and Rumbler Mater. Every time I went to McDonald's, I would just ask for the toy. Only once I actually bought a Happy Meal, and it was when I first got Cruz and Rumbler Mater. I got them in this order first. The very first day they came out, I got Cruz and Rumbler Mater. Then the next couple of days, I think I found, I want to say it was Rumbler McQueen. Then I think it was Ivy, then Cave Mater. No, was it? Cave Mater, then Roadtrip McQueen, then Normal Mater, and then the last one was Ooga Booga McQueen. It was really weird, the order that I found these in. But McQueen is number one, Cruz is number two, Rumbler Mater is number three, Rumbler McQueen is four, Normal Mater is five, Normal Ivy is six, Caveman McQueen is seven, and Ooga Booga Mater is eight. So, you can imagine how many boxes I have because I'd be like, Hi there, can I purchase the cars, toys, and can I see which ones you have? They'd be like, yeah, sure, give me one second, and they'd bring the toy that I needed. And whenever I'd be like, oh, can I get two of a uh, Rumbler Mater or two Cruiser Mirrors? They'd be like, sure. And I'll be like, can I get them in a Happy Meal box and my receipt inside? That way I could get the free boxes that weren't all greasy. But all of these boxes that I have here, besides the ones that I showed you to compare at the beginning that were already opened up and not flat like this, all of these have some sort of defect. Mater's eyes. And it gets worse, trust me. I put them from best to worst. Uh, McQueen's mouth right there. It, it gets worse, trust me. Yeah, look at the printing on just the whole the whole thing. There's just like a bunch of little dots everywhere. It looks kind of cool on the cars on the road logo, but not on the actual vehicles. It looks kind of vintage. So this one's not that bad. I don't know why I put this one so low. I might have to put that one towards second best, but uh, it gets worse. This one, eyes are circled in red everything is sort of misprinted look at the uh the characters the way they're printed on there they look really fuzzy and ugly it gets worse yeah mater's eyes not fully printed in some of it's missing cars on the road logo is fading and now we're sorting <laughs> sort of uh getting rid of mater's eyes ivy is 
very discolored. And here's the worst box I have to this day. Yeah. <laughs> Mater's eye slowly was getting wiped throughout me showing every box. Cars on the Road logo, same thing. It's sort of wiped out. The whole printing of this box is just really ugly. But yeah, my best box for sure, by far, has to be probably this one. McQueen's vibrant, Mater's vibrant, the map is vibrant. Yeah, this one is definitely my best box. Unfortunately, it did tear a little bit there. I think this might have been the very first box I got. But my theory is that they get these boxes shipped and basically they prop well since the kitchen is hot you know it overheats back there so when they open up these boxes it's like all of these are stuck together and when they actually try to pull these boxes apart you just imagine like it's all just paint coming off paint that's my theory it's just that they all since of the heat of the kitchen they all stick to each other in the shipment boxes and when they try actually peeling them off paint misprints and stuff like this happens that's my theory can't really think of any other reason why it would look that crappy but anyways i think now we can finally take a look at these vehicles so bag number one lightning mcqueen road trip lightning mcqueen number one from the cars on the road mcdonald's series it has been 16 years since we have seen cars at mcdonald's ever since the first cars movie you'd think they do it for cars two and three but nope they did it for just cars one and this new disney plus series so yeah what you would expect, a Road Trip Lightning McQueen. All the stickers are in place already. You do get your little sticker sheet and instructions on where everything goes. But I mean, if you're a real Cars fan, you know where everything goes. So that is the little bag for Road Trip McQueen. And there are, you know, different sizes for these bags. Like, look at the width of this McQueen bag and the width of the Cruise bag. So the, the bags are sort of different sizes as you go along. Some of them are the same size, though. And they all have different functions. Like this one says that he turns right. So when you basically pull him back, he should turn right. Yeah, so he does a sort of a turning right movement and he brakes, which is pretty cool. This is one of my favorites. It's classic looking. I like it, it's simple. Uh, the wheels do not move. They are stationary. It has separate two wheels on the bottom. You can roll it forward and it'll go backwards. But the main idea is that you go like this for best performance. All right, Cruz Ramirez. An awesome one for them to release for sure. Yes, it's a spoiler, but come on. Cars on the Road has been out for like a month now. So yeah, all the stickers as you would expect have been placed on. Window bars, Danica logo, rear view mirrors. I mean, uh, windows, my bad. She doesn't have rear view mirrors. Yeah, but everything should be nice in place. She sort of chubby and cute looking i like it this is the very first happy meal toy i got when these first released on september 20th if i'm not mistaken or september 21st it was one of those days and this one basically has the opposite direction feature of mcqueen mcqueen turns right cruz turns left so sort of a turn right to go left i guess maybe oh she just didn't go there we go she turns left quite nicely all right now we got rumbler mater now the feature of this guy is that you pull him back and his wrecking ball pretty much spins and he does not have a tow hook instead it's been replaced with the wrecking ball let's see here three stickers to apply his uh well his license plate's not there but his bumper and his uh windows is all you have to really put so this is number three Made for McDonald's. It says Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. Recommended for children three and over. Ask about special toys for children under three. I didn't know they did that. Disney and Pixar licensing. Not for resale. This is a larger bag than the Cruise one came in. So yeah, same thing. Pull it back and watch him go. Wheels are also stationary. They do not move. But yeah, it does that little function. And can go backwards as well. Pretty cool. This was the second one I ever received. There's the base. It says Disney Pixar, not for resale. Made for McDonald's 2022. And I believe these are only available till October 21st, 8, 17th, 18th, or the 21st. Something like that. So they're, they're not going to last too long, unfortunately. I really wish they did. 
but they got to move on with their schedule of toy releases. I think next they're doing the Halloween buckets, and then after that, they're doing uh, Super Mario for the new movie coming out. I think. I'm not sure. I'm losing track. I saw a post where all the McDonald's toys were coming out in release order. And, yeah, they, they're doing the pup, uh, Halloween pumpkin buckets, whatever. The old toys from back in the day. I remember getting those buckets when I was younger. But they're doing that right as Cars in the Road ends right after. Anyways, Rumbler McQueen just has the windows to apply as stickers and uh i wasn't too friendly with this bag it was kind of hard to open the way i usually open these bags is i would grab from the top right in between the two seams of plastic where it was sealed it's a little tricky especially if you just cut your nails but eventually you get to the seam of both can i even yeah it's kind of hard but I would grab it and just slowly pull it apart so I can preserve the baggies. Yeah, here, this one's a lot easier to grab this Ooga Booga McQueen. You just sort of rub with your fingers. There you go. And just start pulling. And I tried doing that with Rumbler McQueen, but it didn't work out. That's why this whole mess, this mass murder was committed. So the feature with this one is that you pull him back and he just goes forward. It doesn't show the other main feature which is you pull him back and he jumps forward look at this i honestly this is one of my favorite features for the mcdonald's toys the way he just like gallops up and down it's awesome yeah this one is up there with my favorites on function there's the base now to compare it to what Mattel has made, here is the Rumbler Lightning McQueen color changer. <laughs> Which one likes more detail, the McDonald's one or the Mattel one? You tell me. Yeah, I think it's the McDonald's one. At least Mattel went to the effort of painting all this in black and gray. I could do that with a Sharpie, right, for the McDonald's toy, but, you know, they didn't even put the taillights but if you really wanted to, you could grab these taillights from a Roger McQueen if you have an extra. If you get an extra, place them on the back there. I think the molds are different for these guys, especially because, well, McQueen looks longer overall. Without the shovel even, by a couple centimeters, the bumper's longer. He's a lot thinner from the front bumper as well. This one's a lot chunkier. This one seems thinner from the overall proportions at the front. So it's... Pretty cool to see that they didn't just like copy paste the same mold of plastic and just you know put the accessories on this is a much thinner looking lightning mcqueen uh casting can you go backwards and jump <laughs> yeah he can <laughs> that's pretty fun all right now this is probably the most boring to some but maybe you might like this one i mean it's a classic mater you can't go wrong with a classic mater but out of all of the ones you can get this is probably the most boring one Quite a bit of stickers to put on, but his main function is that you pull him back, he goes forward, and the tow hook goes up and down, it sort of jumps. So here's your look at Mater, with all these stickers in place. This one actually does have his license plate right there, very nice. This whole portion basically goes up and down. Yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, catch on camera because of how quick he is, but basically that's the action you're supposed to get. And can he go backwards? Of course he can. He's made her. Will he? No. For some reason he's not working. Come on. You did it earlier. Now he doesn't want to go backwards. Huh. I guess not. There we go. Can you do it forward but not backwards? Maybe if I crank it up a little bit. These aren't your typical mortars where you're like, you just push back, push back, push back, push back, and then let go and it'll start running. This is more of a friction mortar, if that makes sense, or pull back all the way and it'll go. I don't know how to explain it because you can go forward or backwards and it'll still work. It's weird to see. I'm hearing the clicking sounds. So this is, I don't know. It's a weird way to explain the mortar. There we go. He went back. Oh, <laughs> I caught that on camera. That was weird. He went like this then like this and then he went off off screen. All right, let me just give him a couple more backwards. There we go, he's cranking up. What, come on, all that cranking for nothing? 
That's weird. Don't tell me I... Oh, there we go. There's all the juice. Well, there we go. He was conserving that energy or something. Oh, there we go. Look, he's going backwards now. <laughs> he did a little 360. That one's pretty, pretty cute. This one's fun. It's very Mater-esque, if that makes sense. Spinning around and stuff, going backwards. Toe hook playing around and jumping like a, like a puppy, basically. Yeah, that's Road Trip Mater for you, which is basic normal Mater, right? But um, seems like every toy company is calling it Road Trip Mater, even though you know it looks exactly the same ever since 2006. Okay. Ivy. This is probably one everyone wants because Mattel has made it sort of difficult to get. I mean, the only way you can get an Ivy character is through the Circus Showtime Loop playset from Target. But here you can get it as a McDonald's toy. Very, very, very missed opportunity for moving wheels. They are stationary. They do not move. They rely on these wheels. And the function for Ivy is... Let me just take out these little stickers. You pull it back, it goes forward, and she rocks forward and backwards. So she basically is meant to look like she has suspension, quote unquote. Now this one has a lot of stickers as well. It has the flames, the windows, tail lights, and basically you get this right here. Let me zoom in on Ivy. The whole bottom portion reminds me of like these Monster Jam Hot Wheels toys that McDonald's used to have back in the day. It might be the same chassis, I'm not sure, but it looks, I'm getting very nostalgic and I'm like trying to remember where I've seen this sort of chassis before or big chunky toy. But it definitely doesn't seem like the first time I've seen something like this for McDonald's. So they're no strangers to making monster trucks for their toys, but this is the largest uh, character you can get for the same price as the others from this car series. But yeah, basically pull it back and she has like a sort of rocking action there you go you caught it on camera right there she sort of like hits the brakes pulls forward and bounces back into position i like the physics on this one it looks pretty cool and if you go forward it'll obviously go backwards right sometimes yeah it's having trouble like mater i don't know why they don't really like going forward i mean they're not meant to go f forward and then drive backwards right but it's weird how some of these toys work there we go. She sort of has that little rocking action. I like it. Yeah, this one's a pretty cool one. I like the paint job they gave this McDonald's toy more than the one from the Ivy Loop playset. Now that I think about it, let me grab that one real quick to compare to show you guys. Because this Ivy from Mattel, her paint job, I don't know. I think this one's more TV accurate. There's your size comparison for the two. They're not that off on size. But even then, I like the color more on this one, for sure. It's very shiny and reflective looking. So yeah, that's your little IV comparison. All right. So now let's take a look at Booga Booga McQueen, the last one that I needed to complete my collection. And it's crazy because this is the very first one I found at the very first McDonald's I went to. And this was the last one I found at the very last McDonald's I went to, which was the same place where I got this one. So sort of symbolic, I like that. Number seven, Cave McQueen does not need any stickers. I mean, even in the TV show, he doesn't have any decals whatsoever. So <laughs> sort of worked out for them. He's got a beard, which looks a lot better than the mini racer. I'm sorry, but I don't really like the expression they gave the mini racer. It looks really weird. Never really makes that expression in the show. He's got a matte finish. Sure, that's cool. But I adore this one. I think this is one of my favorites. I love his expression. I love the fact that the front wheels can actually turn, which is pretty cool. The back wheels don't, unfortunately, but the front ones do. I wish they could have done this for all of them. I don't know why they just did it for this guy. But the feature on this guy is that you just pull him back and he goes forward. I don't think he has any special feature. Mm, yeah, it doesn't seem like he has a special feature. Well, that's a bit of a missed opportunity. Oh, he sort of rocks. Yeah, he rocks. Look at that. He like shakes to the sides a little bit. Like he's like going through rocks or something. That's pretty cool. He like rattles a bit. 
maybe that's why they gave him the rolling wheels. It makes sense now. But I mean, that rocking effect is only possible because the wheels aren't completely flat. They have like these little um, stop sign shapes. Basically stop signs as his wheels. That's pretty much what's going on. Or that is what's going on. Yeah, I didn't even know. It's barely noticeable to the human eye. But that's the feature. He rocks. I think they, do they implement it on the box? Yeah, like towards his mouth, there's like a little shaking movement. Trying to show that that's what he does. Yeah, there's like these little waves marking towards the mouth and the bender. So I guess symbolize that's what he does. Okay. Um, yeah, not bad. I really like this one. The expression and everything. The wheels. <laughs> straight out of the show. I love it. Absolutely love it. it. Looks fantastic. Okay. So now let's take a look at the last one, which is Cave Mater. Now, Cave Mater. Let's get a closer look on Cave Mater here. No stickers needed whatsoever as well. And the feature on this one is that he rocks side to side, left to right. So let's test that out. Let's put that theory to the test. Does he do that or not? Yep, and it actually shows a lot better than McQueen. Honestly, I think they should have given this Mater the same features as that guy, the McQueen, so they could have worked the same way. Because the way this works is that one wheel is bigger than the other, or they're sort of different shapes, so it gives it that effect. I've seen this on toys many times before, but it's nice to see it on something cars related. Yeah, I really like the motion that this one has. Together though, they make an awesome pair, especially since Mattel hasn't done these. I know they're making this one in plastic form soon for a playset, but no sign of a mater yet, if I'm not mistaken. So McDonald's is the first. McDonald's is the first for a lot of these actually. They're the first for the cave set, Rumbler set besides McQueen. First for Ivy, if you don't count the playset. And I think, yeah, they've done McQueen, Cruise, and Mater. So I think that's it for the toys. Now let me show you the other theming that McDonald's has, which is their apple slices. They have the cutest theming. I swear, this is the cutest thing ever. Apple slices that are cars on the road theme, and it has Ivy and McQueen. I love it. <laughs> I ate the apples, cleaned it up, tried to preserve it. It looks fantastic. I really like this. This is one of the cutest things for sure. I love the minty color they gave, or sort of like a minty teal color. Yeah, very nice. I love the apple slices bag they did for these toys or collaboration. It looks really, really nice. I just wish that they made the milk jugs cars themed also because I did order a milk at one point for my brother because I did take him to McDonald's when I recorded the PCP McDonald's short and he got Road Trip McQueen in his Happy Meal. And I ordered him uh, a milk to see if they would be car themed, and it wasn't, unfortunately. They should have done it. It would have been perfect. I remember when I was younger, they made cars themed uh, milk jugs. And I would drink it as a kid, but I haven't seen that milk in years. I used to buy it at Walmart. Good times, good times. But anyways, essentially, that's going to be pretty much for the review. But let me know which one was your favorite. Roacher McQueen, Cruiser Mirrors, Rumbler Mater, or Rumbler McQueen? Roacher Mater, Ivy... Ooga Booga McQueen or Ooga Booga Mater. I'll tell you, my favorite was for sure. Let me pull them up front. Road Trip McQueen. I think Cruz Ramirez. I just love the cute little chunky size of this Cruz. And her smile looks really cute too. Ivy for sure is a good one too. I love the the physics and the, the jolting forward of her being pushed around. I like it. Looks realistic. Ooga Booga McQueen. And which other one? Something about the Mater's throwing me off, but I kind of want to include this one. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm... Mm, hard. Okay, this one's one of my favorite Maters, I guess. You know, if I had to choose one Mater and one McQueen from each set, then I think it would probably be... Well, I have to choose two McQueens. I, I absolutely love the basic McQueen too, despite having black rims instead of red. They all have black rims, unfortunately, but they all look really good. I mean, you can simply color this to make it look silver, just like in the show. But these are for sure my top five favorites. Don't get me wrong, I like them all. The Rumbler ones were cool. The normal Mater, you can't go wrong with a classic Mater, but if I had to choose my favorites, 
these five guys for sure also let me know do you think these cars are better than the 2006 collection now that's a question that's gonna get heated in the comments personally I like them both they both offered something different when I was a kid and the McDonald's toys were out for cars one I had Doc Fillmore Luigi and I think one of the Ramon variant paint jobs I never had McQueen or Mater <laughs> but hey I have fulfilled that little desire with these new on the road toys let me know which ones you have found so far and if you plan to collect the entire set or just specific characters pissing up productions signing out and i will see you guys next time